Hey church, welcome to another devotional. My name is Dustin. I'm the lead pastor here. And, you know, I think we've all been watching what's going on in the news. We've all been watching and noticing a lot of the evil that we're seeing around us. And there's this incredible verse in Romans 12, verse 21. And this is what it says. It says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Because there's a lot of evil in our world. You know, when we look at the news and we look on Facebook and we see all these things, there's so much evil that is around us. And, and how we respond to it really matters. How we respond to evil is important. If we respond to evil, if we respond to animosity, if we respond to this div- divisive uh, nation, this divided, all these opinions, if we respond with anger, animosity, that's going to produce more evil. But if we respond to evil, if we respond to people's response to us, if we respond to the opinions, if we respond to it with good, how we respond to it, it matters. Because if we respond with good, if we treat people well, if we treat people with respect, if we we treat, treat people with love, if we treat people who think different than us with love, that's important because that's how we actually overcome evil. We cannot let evil overcome us. We cannot let it happen, and it's so easy for it to happen, for us to be overcome by evil. And I want to encourage you, let's love this week. When somebody disagrees with you, when somebody has a different opinion than you, let's respond with love. Let us not be a people who respond with anger. Let us be a people who respond with Love, because love is the response that our God gives us when we mess up. Love is the response. Good is is the response God gives us even when we act out in evil ways. So God, we love you. We love you, church. And uh, we'll see you this Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. It's going to be amazing. We love you.